Hey guys, Bleach here getting ready to find out what that noise is coming from the underneath of the uh, cover of the engine and um it's probably the starter making a noise or a weak battery. We'll just have to look and plus I'm going to see if this thing has spark and oh God, I don't know if I have good spark plugs or not but it should still spark even though it's not good hopefully. I'm not sure. I don't know. I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't spark if the spark plugs are bad. But we got a little Spider-Man there. Oh yeah. He is awesome. Hey Spider. Want a bear? Want a Miller High Life? Want a gurgle spider? Oh yeah guys. I'm offering the spider a gurgle. I know we're, I really don't want to hurt Charlotte's rub. Or Charlotte there. The spider seems to like it there. So I just got to be careful of him. I don't want to kill him of course. Just love spiders guys. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider, Spider, Spider-Man. Oh crap, it's gonna bite. Alright, see you soon guys. Generally, want to not spray uh, any kind of lubricant, double D40 or uh, PB blaster to loosen the bolts in this thing. Oh, yeah, I'm just turning it around, guys. I'm going to take this cover off and I'm going to turn up the key, see where the noise is coming from, hopefully. Maybe take the starter off and lubricate it a bit. Could use the rebuild, the starter at least, not the engine. Hey guys, we back. We got some kind of uh, old mouse nest under there. Someone had the bright idea to put a bolt right down the left side of the cover. Must not have held there. I also dropped the other piece of metal like this somewhere inside the engine. We will find it. And we take the carburetor apart and pull it out of there. This cover doesn't have to go on there right away. We can just run it without the uh, cover. Oh god, guys. Look, there's nothing in here. I scared. I'm scared, guys. Wish I had an air compressor. Damn, I can't clean this out good enough. Jesus, guys, I'm gonna have to get something to blow the sound. I got a, um, uh, one of those motorcycle uh, dryers. I use them for uh, dog grooming, too. I can blow it out of there, too. God. This is not good. It's probably why it's making a whirling noise. Oh, Jesus crap in the starter. I'm gonna have to stop it here, guys, and come back. Got another video plan if the neighbor will do it. We'll be doing some stuff with the chainsaw. So I'll uh, see you soon, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. I uh, talked to the neighbor. We're gonna go uh, down there and or up on my hill and cut some trees on the chainsaw. I may make a video about them, may not. We're also going to finish weed whacking that hill tomorrow, and there won't be any videos of the hill being weed whacked because uh, over an hour and a half is enough. But this thing has um, points and condenser, I believe, because the uh, the Briggs that uh, back in the day the, the coils were white, and then when they went to electronic coils, they were black, unless it faded over time I don't know I think this thing's got points because I do not see uh, a ground wire coming off of it anywhere and it's probably grounded to the solenoid in the engine so this has got to be maybe I wonder if it's a late 70s Briggs or early 80s but we're gonna paint the cover black so it would deter more uh, Mickey Mouse's from living in here I also did really good when I was trying to clean it out of there I didn't realize it would fall into the engine so I gotta get my uh, uh, a nozzle for the air compressor I have and blow it out and um, the neighbor let me borrow his. I also uh, uh, dripped, um, or not dripped, I uh, got rat nest inside where the oil goes so I'll have to take that off there and hopefully it drips out. It should, I don't know why I want it. I'm going to get my oil sucker get it out of there. Hopefully it comes out of there. I'm not doing so good guys. I wanted to test the thing for spark too. Well, I'm not going to get a uh, mouse nest into the cylinder holes. Not a good idea, guys. 
Also, the starter's working a lot better. I guess I got a good enough battery for this for now. It had spark guys in a nicely uh, rebuilt carbon fuel pump it would probably run. Just show you the starter really quick, the teeth are really chewed up. I may just run it the way it is. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's still got some life to that starter gear. It's cranking this thing over pretty good. So I'll order up some parts of this thing and a week or so you'll see some more of it but I just want to clean the mouse nest out of it and drain the oil probably just leave the oil out of it for now or maybe I'll just wait till I clean all the stuff out of there and drain the oil it's a work in progress it's a, it's a money pit make your uh, money disappear uh, pick up I'm gonna put all my uh, Nuts and bolts in the back of the tractor, put my tools somewhere, and let's get done. So, guys, all I gotta do to replace that is snip the ground wire to the points and put on an electronic coil. And just gotta ground the coil somewhere. Somehow I gotta ground it to the key switch. You guys tell me, do you think that's a points coil? Just let me know what you think. Uh, I'll leave, let you go, guys. I gotta get some grub in me and Stay tuned for more guys. Sorry this is not the best video, but at least I'm making some kind of progress guys. Take care.